So just for your own entertainment, um, I pushed it all the way back to stock. It measures 190 thousandths from here to the top of the thread, so in that section right there. And I put a dot facing that hole just so you can kind of uh, see where you're at in turning this up. So as we put this together, got the spring, gonna set that there. Uh, I put a dot, I put the, the dot of the diaphragm metal part. Let's get that focused ish. Yeah, so the dot right there lines up with the face of that. And then you've got the push pin from this side, so the dot goes that way. And then uh, your uh, AFC line goes the opposite way of that dot. Actually, yeah, that's really easy to put on because there's no spring tension. And I've done this like 50 million times. It's almost like I should get a new diaphragm before I do final, but uh, I'm sure it's fine. And then in this case, I have the, uh, the pre-boost screw all the way out right here. I have it all the way out. Oh, a couple of threads in because, uh, well, you have to have it in to seal. Air will come out. So let's get it set up on my, where I've got a regulator sitting over there. All right, I'm set up at my uh, pressure checking table because I've got a regulator set up right here on my shop air and the regulator doesn't move and so you're gonna want to get yourself a couple gauges you're gonna be fine with just the 30 psi gauge right here ebay six bucks seven dollars or so i also have a 60 if i really want to push up the pressure this just gives an accurate measurement because the regulator gauge just isn't quite good enough And here I'm gonna take, I cheated already, I kinda got it figured out where it opens, but if you look at the regulator, it's about three and a half PSI. And uh, I just do this by putting it in here. And I mean, there's only so much you can see in this video but you can see all the parts in here and so this little this lever right here you're gonna see this one moving around and that's where that lever right there is the fuel being the air the fuel pins pushing and it's pushing that and that controls the fuel as it goes through the boost now when I put the air in with three and a half pounds, I can feel that lever moving. And that's not good because now you're pushing in fuel with very little boost, with only three PSI and it's already pushing in that fuel. Now you're gonna get black smoke and you don't want that. So we're gonna get this figured out on how much PSI you get when uh, how much PSI it takes to get full fuel. Now that's seven pounds. I'm gonna see what this does. That's really close to bottoming out. So I'm gonna turn that up just a tad bit more on my regulator. I'm at 10 pound, nine pounds right there. And that was full fuel. That lever inside was moving all the way. So that's a problem. Three and a half pounds. So that's a problem. Three and a half pounds is giving me the f fuel into the pump. In nine pounds, I was getting full boost and uh, full fuel. Well, if you're Turbo is going to be putting out, in my case, 30 PSI, and you've got full, full fuel, that's going to smoke like a train. It's just, it's going to be tons of smoke. 
and you're throwing away a lot of fuel. So we're gonna adjust this. Back in my toolbox, we're gonna pull this thing back apart. So now we're just gonna take this wheel and we're just gonna go for it. Because I'm gonna go all the way out with this one with 30 pounds of boost. So I'm going click, click, click. They're starting to engage. And that is five rotations out. It's basically all the way at the top. It's just shy of flush. The wheel's a little bit higher. And yeah, you don't want it all the way out because all of a sudden things just start moving inside here. So you want a few of those teeth engaged so it doesn't move. So gonna do a little bit more just to be safe. So not quite five turns, almost. And so yeah, it's flush with the very top of it right now. So we're gonna put this together and this is gonna be my final, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I'll see you back at the test bench. All right, now we're back here. So we're gonna find out how much PSI it takes for it to start giving fuel. That's eight PSI, a little bit too much. We're gonna back that off. Six PSI, it might not open. We're gonna find out. We are not quiet. We're going to give a little bit more. And that's 7 psi. It's about to do it. That's like seven and a half to eight, somewhere in there. Yeah, and I can feel it moving now. You can feel it just barely moving. Now let's turn this up to 20-ish PSI. Let's see what it does. Right now it's at 18. So it opened up all the way. So I want to find out how much PSI to get to max fuel. There I'm at 15. And uh, yeah, there it is. 15 PSI is kind of where the full fuel goes in for me. I'd like the 30, but that's just not the way this pump is meant to be. Which 15 is a heck of a lot better than 9 PSI from 3 to 9. So 15 is a whole lot better. So that's just kind of how I did my adjustments on some stuff I... Yeah, I got my pump back together, but a few things I forgot to mention. As I took this apart, the distribution block and everything, I took that all apart. All the governor stuff that's inside. I There wasn't anything I didn't touch. I even knocked these out when I did the 
the AFC part. Knocked all this out. The fuel push pin. I put a new O-ring in there. Put assembly lube so it all moves smooth. Did a bunch of stuff though. Just there's nothing in this pump I didn't touch. And I'm not a injector pump guy. I've ne actually never done one before. So this was a really good learning experience for me. And uh, my the injector shop that I take stuff to, I said, hey, this is what I'm doing. And the guy basically said, you're going to mess something up. And uh, I recommend that you have us do it. And we'll find out. Chances are, I'm going to mess something up. But guess what? I've learned a lot from this and I don't regret it already. It's just, there's there's a lot going on here. And the more, it's, the more you know, knowledge is worth a lot of money. Yeah, if there's something I can explain better, let me know. If you need help, if there's numbers that you forgot, as you, if you messed it up. I wrote down a lot of stuff, maybe I can help you out. Got another pump that's never been gone through. I can always do that. So if you want a more in-depth video of me doing a pump tear down and kind of what I've done inside, let me know. And yeah, we'll do it. Thanks for watching. There's going to be more fuel stuff coming up out, um, pretty soon here. So uh, I just kind of picking away at this motor as I go. See you next time.